What's going on, Wanna? I'm Sanai. And I'm Ati Shani. Welcome to Growing Up Good Egg. Today, we are talking about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. And what what's going on there and how we can help. That's right. Sanai, did you know that St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the closest island to Barbados? I did not know that. Yep. Uh, St. Vincent is the main island, and then there's a bunch of small islands that make up the Grenadines. Another fun fact, folks from St. Vincent are called Vincentians, but West Indians and Vincentians go by Vinci. So, just like we are Bajans, they are Vincies. Oh, mm -hmm. If you recall, we did an episode on the 13 independent countries. St. Vincent is one of them. They gained their independence on October 27th, 1979. And we also talked about them in the flags episode. What do you remember? I remember the capital, which is Kingstown. Um, and their motto is peace and justice. That's right. Uh, so St. Vincent is a very agricultural country with a more diverse landscape than Barbados. Barbados is relatively flat. Um, while St. Vincent actually has forests and mountains and one of their highest peaks is actually a volcano called La Soufre. Sanai, can you tell me what's going on with La Soufre? The volcano has been erupting for the last couple of weeks and because of it, thousands of people had to evacuate their homes. That's right. And remember how I said Barbados is like so close? It's so yes. close that those ashes have blown over to Barbados and They've covered cars and the beach, and there's been a massive cleanup going on. It is snowing in Barbados. Does it look like nighttime over there? The first day after the volcano erupted, it was pretty dark in certain parts of the island, and the same was true in certain parts of St. Vincent because the ash just covered the day, really. Mm. So currently, St. Vincent is in a state of emergency, and like the Caribbean, always does, they're banding together uh, to help. So islands like Trinidad, Antigua, St. Lucia, Grenada, and Barbados have all pitched in and sent items and Defense Force folks to help during this time. And we would like to give you some tips on how you can help during this time as well. Option one, one of the easiest ways to help is to donate money to trustworthy organizations like the Red Cross who are working on the grounds in St. Vincent. Option two, so now, do you know what a barrel is? The thing that you roll, with, like the big tub of stuff and you roll it. And okay. It. <laughs> barrel. Yeah. What okay. Is, what goes in a barrel? Um, uh, <clears throat> barrel, water. Okay, I just, oh, you said water. I just wanted to check to see like if you were talking about the West Indian barrel that we're accustomed to or if you were talking about like the barrel as in things you see in movies that roll in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was talking about the movie thing. Okay, I figured. So, uh, all West Indians that live abroad know about the barrel. You pack the barrel and you send it home with loads of food. No, nope. <laughs> not on your back. The barrel is a shipping container, basically. So you fill it up with foods and clothes and all kinds of stuff for your family or those in need. In this case, for those in need. And you ship it off to the country. And that's how uh, folks who have immigrated to America tend to give back and help out their family on the island. So this is a great way right now to help. People need clothes, they need diapers, pads, water, all the stuffs. Um, so I will include a list of things that people are requesting, but I saw that they're requesting the blue ones because they're more uh, sustainable. You can fill them with water afterwards. It's reusable, recycle, better for the earth and helpful, more helpful for them. Most of all, I think we all just need to pray and do our best to help out. Of course. All right, so that's our episode today. You learned a little bit about St. Vincent and the volcano that's erupting there and how you can help. Sanai, let them know what they have to do. 
hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with your friends. Please and thank you. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.